Today on Thunderbird Garage, we're going to address the lost art of tuning a car. In today's computer control world, you don't really have to do that. You plug into an OBD2 port and uh, let the computer do its work. Not so much in 1957. So I've done a couple of things to the car over the past week, and I just want to make sure that initial timing is set right. So we've got a very inexpensive timing light. We'll do that. And then I will, with a screwdriver and my vacuum gauge here, adjust the... Uh, idle air mixture both for high speed idle and low speed idle today on thunderbird garage thunderbird garage where the classics come alive 57 magic man it's more than just a drive thunderbird garage let the good times thrive Before you actually time the car using a timing light, you want to make sure there is no additional advance going on during idle. Um, and remember, this is a vacuum advance and a mechanical advance distributor. We don't want that vacuum advance to be engaged because if it's pulling a vacuum, it'll actually move um, and adjust the advance, which we don't want to do. We want to set an initial base level of unaltered advance that sort of remains fixed and any additional advance from the vacuum advance or the uh, mechanical advance would happen under power or at additional times. So how do you do that? Well, you wanna disconnect the actual hose that goes to the actual vacuum advance and plug it off. So I've done that with another rubber stopper on the end here. So that is connected to ported, not vac or not manifold vacuum, which is a whole debate on the internet. And I'm a ported guy, so we'll talk about that later. Um, there's a reason why these things have vacuum advances and there's a reason why they're connected to the carburetor port. Um, but in any event, I plug that off so we're not having that advance kick in. So that's not uh, going to impact what we're doing from a base level or an initial timing setting. So let's set the timing right now. With the timing light, the first thing we're going to want to do is take this inductive probe and attach it around the number one cylinder lead on the engine, which is right here. This is the number one cylinder, so I go down to the spark plug lead, or wrap it around there, lock it over there, and then I'll take my positive and negative, bring it over to the other side of the engine, attach that to the battery, to the positive and to the negative here. So now our timing light is hooked up. Now we just need to start the engine and begin the timing process. For timing, you're gonna to wanna to aim the actual timing light at the front area of the engine. I'll show that right now. So as I look right now, the car is really retarded in timing. That is not good. We got to bring, bring it back into the, the correct realm. Ideally, we want to between six and eight degrees of initial timing for the Thunderbird. So I've got to advance timing um, and watch that on uh, the actual timing gun here. But let me adjust the distributor, loosen it up, advance. I push it forward. Still not quite where we need to be. We're at about two degrees now. We're about five and a half, six degrees. I'm going to give it a little bit more. I think I went a little too far. Oh, 
Okay, we should be right about six and a half, seven in initial degrees. Notice when I actually tighten the distributor, it sort of slipped in advance. So I bet I jumped another two degrees or so. Be careful of that. I did. That's about seven and a half. I may be a little too much, but I'm going to leave it there for now. I've disconnected the timing light and we still have the ported vacuum line blocked off. What I do have still, as you can see, is the vacuum meter there connected to manifold vacuum. Now I'm going to adjust the idle mixtures and we're going to try to get that up as high as possible. So right now you can see that we're roughly a little over 16 or 17. We're going to get that a little higher as we adjust the fuel mixture. Watch as I play with the fuel mixture what happens to that uh, actual vacuum pump. And you can also see the meters bumping around right now. That's the danger of manifold vacuum. It's unsteady. As I lean it out, you can see the engine is got a little late timing now. now I want to richen the mixture and bring it right back to about there. I'm going to set it right there. I think we're pretty good. I'm going to adjust idle here. Going to kick down into low speed idle here. So right now you can see we're a little low, we're a little over 15. Going to get that up a little higher to smooth out the low speed idle. A little bit better. We're between 17 and 18, I just want to give it a little more richness here. So I've tried to keep the tune-up fairly simple for our purposes here. Um, I've only focused on air-fuel mixture and timing uh, and setting the timing, uh, as I said, with the distributor. Um, but there are things certainly like plugs or points in condenser and things like that that you're going to want to be aware of. I have changed the spark plugs fairly recently um, and I gap those appropriately. Um, and you're going to want to do that every year, a couple of years with one of these cars. Um, but to keep the plugs right, you're going to want to make sure it's operating at the right temperature and you got the right air fuel mixture. So that's why I would say that's more important even than the plugs. Um, but in any event, I've also modified the car a little bit. I don't have the vacuum lines that would power the, uh, the windshield wipers or even the heating system because um, I've done that differently. The heating system has a uh, kind of a mechanical approach to turning on the hot water going to the, uh, the, the heating element and, and the heater core. And as far as the windshield wipers, they're electric. So I use that back port as a great way to, uh, to attach my manifold vacuum source and understand what vacuum is on the car. So in any event, um, hopefully I've simplified it and made uh, the idea of, of tuning your car a little less daunting. Thanks for tuning in to Thunderbird Garage. California life.